is Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a video on like my horse hunt and like how I found blue jeans and all of the horses that I looked at prior to getting her and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos of mine. If you are on a computer you can click this button right here and if you are on a mobile device you can click that button. That button. <laughs> that button below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so the very first horse that I was interested in was um, a paint and he was 15 2, I believe. Me, my mom, and my sister went to Tractor Supply and I was buying my best friend a birthday present and it was horse related and the cashier asked us if we like had horses or you know whatever and I told like we told her that you know like I didn't have a horse at that particular time but I wanted one you know like in the future and that this is in May 2014 um so the lady she was like well I have this um horse and he's a paint and I was like oh my god he's 15 hands and I was like oh my god because it like sounded so perfect and everything so yeah I was going to go and look at him and uh, I found out that he hated dogs, and we have six dogs, so that is like not good. Um, the lady said it wasn't just like he's like skittish around dogs, she just doesn't like them. She said that if he heard a dog or if he saw a dog, he would literally throw you and it would just be a complete mess. And that is definitely not like I can't have a horse that is like that. So I couldn't get that one because, you know, that's a big deal because I have a lot of small animals around our house, so I couldn't do that. The next horse that I looked at, I was almost 100% sure I was going to get. It was a Mustang. She was 14 2 and 7 years old, and we called to set up a time to actually come and, like, get the Mustang and buy her. And, um... The lady never responded and this has been like almost two years ago and so until this day we still have not heard from her so I did not get her just wasn't meant to be the next horse I looked at um I found on Facebook and like in a Facebook group and he was a paint a Palomino paint and I'm a sucker for those um, he was 12, I believe, um, but he was gelded late because he was used, you know, for a stud. Um, so he was gelded late, so he had a little, like, he acted like a stud sometimes. So my cousin, um, went and looked at him for me, and she said he did great. Uh, well, this is what, we were on the way to go and see him, and we, she called us, or texted us, I don't remember, um, and she said that he was bucking a lot in to not come and look at him. And so we, and this is like over like a period of months that all this was going on. So I didn't like look at all the horses like in one day or anything. This was like from between May and July of 2014. But um, I think that if I would have looked at him, I think I would have bought him because after like a couple of weeks later, I found out that he was bucking when he was being free lunch and blue jeans does that so it like it's it wouldn't have been a big deal and um, but I thought he like the way it sounded it sounded like he was bucking like out of control while you were like on him or whatever so and she told us not to come and look at him so we didn't same day I looked at a gelding I think he was 10 or maybe he was a little younger than that he was like almost 15 hands and he was just used for like this guy's kids and they just walked and that was it and like jogged on him and that was like all. He was the laziest horse I have ever seen in my life. He like started bucking when the guy squeezed because he didn't want to go and stuff. It was like a mess. I would rather get like a really, really forward moving horse than a like lazy one. So. I definitely didn't want that one. I know I could have like worked with him and everything like that. I could have worked with all of these horses um, and just kind of, you know, got everything, all their problems under control and everything like that. But um, I just didn't, I didn't feel right. Like, and then after that, my mom found blue jeans. So I woke up one morning and my mom was 
she had been awake all night looking for a horse online and I woke up and she was like, I found one. When we got there, the first thing, I remember the first thing I said was, oh my God, she is absolutely gorgeous. I remember that's like my first, the first thing that I said. I don't know, when I got there, I just felt right. Like I felt like that was my horse, you know what I mean? Like I already felt like I, I felt so comfortable around her and she just felt, you know, it felt right. And, you know, I just had that feeling inside me that she was the right one. I got her and it was the best feeling ever. I was so excited. Um, and she was really green when we got when I got her, but um, she's come a very long way and I love her so much and I could not ask for a better horse than her. And um, so yeah, Blue Jeans is a quarter horse. She's around 14 hands. Um, I don't think she's any, like she's, she's pretty short, but um, she's around 14 hands. She was eight when I got her. Um, she's a light bay dun. So yeah, that's kind of like how I found blue jeans and everything. Um, I remember like my mom, um, she asked me, she was like, do you want to get her? And I was like, yeah, like it was, I don't, I don't know. It was the best feeling ever. And like till this day, I like go outside and I look at her and I'm just like, I can't believe I have a horse. Like, I can't believe she's mine. It's just the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> but I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!